Damn. I honestly didn't expect to make this video. Um, I'm just going to be saying my honest thoughts of Gears 5. The two years that this game has been out, I literally, I've had issues with it. And um, I just never said anything. I don't like, I don't like ranting or said like, oh, this game's fucking dog shit. Fix this, fix that, and all that. Because in reality, that just gets you banned. And no matter what, you could speak your mind on Gears. You could present them with every issue that it has. But at the end of the day, nothing gets done. Um, unless you're a pro player, nothing will change. Your opinion doesn't matter, is how I see it. Your opinion doesn't matter unless you're a pro player. The reason why I say if you're not a pro player, your opinion doesn't matter. And I don't know if you guys remember in Gears 4, they had an issue. Gears pro players complained something about you shouldn't wall bounce. Like if you get shot with a wall, like if you get shot, you're full red. And if you wall bounce, you can't regain health. That, that used to be an issue for them. And they would, they complained and it somehow got integrated with the game. I think at the start of Gears 5, it was the same way. You you try to bounce while you're full red and your health doesn't go down. I'm pretty sure that's how it was. And then I've seen pro players once again complaining about that. Saying, yo, you should, you should bounce and heal. What do you know? Coalition makes an update. You're able to bounce and heal. Like, if that's not enough proof that they only listen to them, I don't know what is. I'm just gonna speak about issues that I've been dealing with. One of the main issues for me is matchmaking. Um, I hate this system that they have where it's like, at the start of the game, you had Masters, Diamonds. Um, me personally, I don't think that ever mattered. You could be Masters. But your team could be literally Onyx or Bronze. Because they... I feel like they have this system integrated with Gears 5 where they try to balance the teams which completely fucks up the game. For example, you could... Um, at the time it's five, it was 5v5. You have a 3 stack that are extremely good. You and your friends, they're all masters. And then you find another team that is all masters that are decent at the game. But the game is going to somehow use that balance system in a, like, in a way to fuck you over. Because I feel like it's poorly made. And your teammate will be a bronze or like an onyx. And they're just going to be donuts the entire game getting zero kills. And it's just like, why are you even in this game? Why, why aren't you in social type of thing? That's something I hated. Um, then they ended up taking away ranks, which said that would fix the issue. But in reality, it made things worse. Um, in the beginning, like before you start up a Gears game, it tells you they're going to try to match you with people that are your skill level. I play in the mornings by myself, execution, and when I tell you, I find teammates that don't know how to play the game, and I'm supposed to be top 30 in the world for Xe. Obviously, being top 30 doesn't mean anything, because it's just like whoever plays the most gets to be up there, but at the same time, it should put me with people with my skill level, and I'm getting teammates who never get off horde and they try uh rank for the first time ever and they just get zero kills which is kind of annoying i just hope that gets fixed um, obviously that's never gonna get fixed in gears 5 there's hope for it to get fixed maybe in gears 6 but like there's nothing we can really do literally all up to them so another thing where they fucked up the release of crossplay they ended up removing the icons for pc players which was kind of nice 
Fine. Because now, whenever we find Xbox players, they don't back out of the game. Because now, they see my four stack of PC players. There's always that one Xbox player who dashes from the other team because we're PC. It is the most annoying thing ever. And they TC keeps saying, oh, they get a penalty. You can't get a penalty when you dashboard your game when you when you're in the like selecting map section it's a thing a, a lot of people do they even it works on pc as well if you find a four stack or if you find a stack that you don't want to play with you all you have to do is open up task manager and force close your game and it it bypasses the it's just like the rank ban that you're supposed to get even for xbox you dashboard your game and you don't get a ban so i really hope they were they would take away the PC icon. It will help so. It will, I feel like it will help so much. And I don't know if you guys remember. As soon as they enabled crossplay, they. I don't know what they did. I would find games in three seconds. Literally three seconds. I would find games instantly. And then somehow TC ended up saying something that they're going to add. I forgot what they added, but they said, "Oh, we're gonna help. We're gonna help something, and we're gonna add this." Next thing you know, it we we're going back to the 10 minute searching queues. Like, what the fuck? How do you ruin a game that you found instant matches to waiting 10 minutes? For people that were in the that are from the UK, which where it's terrible to find ranked matches in certain times of the day compared to how it is in the US. I seen them find matches literally in minutes. Um, an example is Shadows. Uh, if you could somehow watch his VODs from the beginning of I think it was Operation 7 when they announced Crossplay, he found games instantly. And then as soon as they add that, you have him waiting 30 to 15 minutes each match. Like, I don't... Like, I don't know why TC doesn't find that as an issue. And I really hope... What they do... So this is this is a thing that um, obviously can't be done in Gears 5. But I, what I wish could happen for Gears 6 is if they bring back the Gears 3, like, playlist options where if you want to play tdm there's two options social match or ranked for and all, as well for like guardian social or ranked i don't like where it's just quick play and it puts you in random shit like dude i just defeats the i don't know i feel like the gears 5 main menu is all over the place the the boxes where it has the pictures they're too big and people do not want to be scrolling down trying to find their thing. I don't know. I just feel like the Gears 5 main menu is just a mess, in my opinion. No matter what they try to do to it. I feel the Gears 3 main menu was completely perfect. And I wish they do something like that in Gears 6. Uh, another complaint that, was, that happened was Tebow shots. At one point, there was an update on Gears 5 where you're able to rev your T-Bone. And you're able to wall bounce around like in Gears 3. And then uh, another update happens where if you rev your T-Bone and you start bouncing, it shoots automatically. So as soon as you try to like the wall cancel with your T-Bone revving, it shoots. Which is like, why? Why would you mess something that was completely fine? Another thing is... We're already heading into Operation 8 next week. It's crazy. The game still has two or three more years. And we're already at the end of every operation. Like, it's mind-blowing to think about. Because if you look at the maps that we have, what maps? Like, I don't know. Give us... At least give us all the Gears 4 maps into 5. They won't be new, but we'll have more options. And I know it's possible to do that. I don't know. I I don't get why Coalition says it's not. It's hard. It's 
simple to do. One thing that they that uh, Coalition has promised us, which they never released to us, is the map editor. I believe at the start of Gears Five or like before Gears Five even came out, they said you guys are getting a map editor where you could create multiplayer maps and play them with your friends. Where is that at though? Um, I know they released the the horde one or like the, the escape map editor where it's just tiles and it, I feel like that's just boring I hope they do something with the map editor for multiplayer hopefully once operation 8 ends they could somehow bring it, bring it out because me in my opinion if they bring out a map editor that uses like tiles or shit from like every map that has been out in Gears 5 and you could create your own map. I feel like that would be good. It could keep game alive for the next two to three years until Gear 6 gets teased. So, like, for example, Coalition could do contests or whatever saying whoever makes the best map gets put into the Gears 5 ranked rotation which will be kind of dope. It'll give people a reason to use the map editor so they won't be like, oh, we could, why spend all of our time on this map editor where only a handful of people would use it. If they would announce something like that where like you could have a chance of your map being into the rotation of Gears 5, I feel like that would get a lot of people into that. It will get people to learn it and actually create their map. Obviously, I'm not saying to bring out the map editor like it is that we got for Gears 1. Because that's not really user friendly in my opinion. And hopefully they make something casual for like everyone to use. Because at the end of the day you got to see it from the bigger picture. What will get people to actually use things. And if they were to bring back the Gears 1 style. No not that many people would use it. Only just like 10 or 15. A big question is what's next for Actually, so this is a big question for everyone. What's next for Gears? There's rumors of Gear 6 being released around 2024 to 2025, which is a reasonable date. Um, I'm not sure why a lot of people are surprised by that when they got like rumored out when that's like kind of pretty obvious. But hopefully they Gears somehow keeps this alive with at least a bit of content because if we don't get any updates no nothing new the game is going to die out and that's honestly i all i have to say um for this video and that's just at the end of the day this is my opinion on my ish the issues that i have while playing gears and things i've always wanted to say but can't and i just hope gear six is not like this game that came out if you can even call it that. Okay, I don't want to make this video too long. I'm going to release another video uh, later on. On my thoughts on Operation 8. And what I think is going to come out. So, hopefully you guys watch that as well. If not, it's perfectly fine. And I hope you guys enjoy this video.